6,235 pounds. The Cherokee Gray Wolf 29BH here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is just such an awesome choice for someone that you're looking for. Like, you know, the, the weight of that half ton towability, you want a private bunkhouse, big outside kitchen, but super slide space for a rainy day, something that's gonna last your family more than two years. This is an absolutely dynamite way to start your camping days. And with the slide closed, you can actually slip through here. So well, you don't really have to slip through. It's very easy to navigate your way through here. You can just kind of walk right between the sofa and the dinette, weave your way back. Now, that giant U dinette, it does prevent uh, travel access, at least easily for bigger folks like me, to the bathroom. Maybe a little kid could slip through there, but. You can do the butt scoot boogie, and you can slip back through here. So if what you need to do is get this thing packed up and ready to go, she does pass that kind of test. And though there are certainly a couple major updates in here, specifically the refrigerator, largely these have remained unchanged, and I'm happy for that. You know, there's, there's some cool decor elements we'll look at. A little bit of the surfaces have changed. But they really kind of stayed right in the same vein as they were before. You've got a completely carpetless main deck here, as you see, and it is also a ventless floor. That's the thing that makes Cherokee uh, Grey Wolf campers fantastic for like families that are really, you know, full of busy-bodied type people. Now, one of the things that they have changed are their window blinds, and these are some of the most like hyp hypnotically cool things. Now, I'm not an interior decorator. But, tell me, that is just not absolutely awesome. So, you know, you can let as much light or as little light as you want in here. And you see that those things, I mean, you can really line them up. And you can really black out the sun if you want. But they have, they're just really aesthetically pleasing. They look very, very cool. And especially awesome if, you know, you're using your living room as guest extra kid sleeping capacity and you don't, you know, want that sunlight to wake everybody up early and disturb your sleep. Now that sofa, admittedly, a small sleeper. Theoretically capable. Maybe good for, uh, you know, a kid, Labrador, whatever, big dog. But over here, you got a full, what I call, true u dinette that folds down to like a seven foot bed that's roughly, I don't know, about 40 inches deep, maybe a little bit bigger. It's been a little while since I measured one. So it can give you some good big guest capacity, or maybe you just need a spot for some big cargo to lay down flat while you're in transit. Not a bad place for it. Now I'm a guy that likes to give everything a silly name, so I think I'm gonna call those the Cherokee Hypno Shades. It's just got a cool ring to it anyway. What's also nice here, just like Big Brother Cherokee, Grey Wolf maintains those giant 40-inch full extension dinette drawers so you don't have to tear everything apart to get to it. And whether it is that uh, tabletop right there or the kitchen counter, you're going to find that you have sealed edge counters through the entire RV, even over here on the entertainment center just to my left currently. So if you set a drink up there and it sweats, you know, wipe up the little sweat ring, no big deal. Central air keeps you comfy, and we've got, again, cabinet ducted heat, not floor ducted heat. The skylight letting in some extra light, and there is a shade for that you can pull down if you are so inclined. Now, that refrigerator is one of the few major updates, and it is a big deal. That is a 10.7 cubic foot, 12 volt compressor fridge, rather than the 6 cubic foot gas electric absorption fridge that used to be in here. And if you don't know what any of those words mean, let me boil it down very, very simply. This is 67% more cold storage than you used to have in the exact same camper at the time of this filming, like only two weeks ago. So it is fully traveling friendly. If you want to go off grid, it only draws three amps. So a 10 amp portable solar package obviously can more than uh, compensate for that thing. Full depth overhead cabinet there, and Cherokee is just absolutely awesome about loading up their kitchen with tons of light so you can always see around in here. We will take a look at the rest of the kitchen from the other direction, but note that with that flush mount sink cover and stove cover, you've actually got some good, good prep space in here. Uh, moving past these big plywood box drawers, if I use my Paul Bunyan legs to just walk over them, thank goodness I'm tall, centralized either pantry, linen space, clothing space, etc., whatever you need it to be. 
Now the bathroom over here, they did a couple small little revisions that I almost missed originally. Like at a glance, it still looks pretty much the same. I like how that corner right there is wide open though. So if you got big shoulders or big hips, you're good to go. Now the uh, there's a light right there just above that sink. It's a motion sense light so that if you need to get in here at night, you can do so without turning on all the main cabin lights and waking everybody up. And thankfully, they are still using that larger, like, uh, Max Air style, full-size uh, vent fan. They've gotten away from tubs. Once again, thank you, Cherokee. They are just, they're just on it. They're just on it, you know. You got a shower, not a tub, still have the surround paneling. Huge medicine cabinet, sealed countertops in here, skylight. This bathroom has it all. From there, we're just next door to our bunkhouse, and I like how there's windows for all the bunks, so everybody gets good uh, lighting in here. Extra nightlight for that lower bunk, since it doesn't really benefit as much from that uh, overhead lighting. TV hookups on the rear wall, if you let the kiddos bring their own little entertainment. And over here, we have what I call a big kid bed, since it's uh, a little bit wider than a conventional bunk. Now, what that also means is that they've been able to create some extra storage space below it. You can see that heat vent right there. It is actually shocking how many private bunkhouses have no heat vent run to them. It's it's just, it's mind boggling. It's baffling to me that that's still the case. Now that rear cabinet, that is deceptively deep. There, That is some huge storage. Let me get a little closer. Maybe you can get a little better idea of scope and scale. And you can see that obviously you've got a built-in bunk ladder. So you don't gotta throw the kids into the bunk and rip your shoulder blades or is that a thing? Whatever. It is now. Rip your shoulder blades. <laughs> Coming out of the bunkhouse, you can see that on that front entertainment wall, we do have dual sliding privacy doors, not curtains. So all sleeping areas have doors, not curtains, which I think is everyone's preference. Should you choose to add a TV to your uh, Grey Wolf camper here from Haywood RV, you can see that uh, you're all set and ready to do so, but they have a very cool, expandable, kind of streaming-friendly entertainment setup here. Um, as it sets, it's a, it's a simple Bluetooth stereo, but there's HDMI plugs on the front and one here in this pocket, which makes it very friendly for adding uh, high-def entertainment potential. Whether you're just adding a Roku stick or streaming off your phone or adding a Blu-ray player, there's room to do it. Electric space heating fireplace and clutter cutting shoe garage are always fan favorites. And in addition to that, uh, you know, bigger refrigerator here in the kitchen, they've done a couple little things specifically kind of recoloring the sink and adjusting their countertop that I think you're going to like. So they've revised the sink cover here and the color of the sink itself. Previously, it's still like a stainless steel, but it's got more of a I don't know the official name. Again, I'm not an interior decorator. I call it like gunmetal sort of look versus a really bright, aggressive stainless steel. And I think it just helps everything in the kitchen kind of merge and mesh well. Especially nice with that black matte high-rise sprayer faucet hardware, that spring-loaded job that you have right there. And that new stovetop backsplash. I am a fan of the look of that. Now, right between the door and the window, you see you've got household and USB plugs. I mean, there's plugs all over the place in this thing. Now, the sink covers before, they had a little black stopper on the bottom of them to keep them from bouncing around and sliding off in transit. But what they did is they redesigned the actual countertop and they put some notches in this. So it just literally, it cannot go anywhere. You're going to have to roll this camper down a hill to get that sink cover to pop off. And that's not a challenge, by the way. I don't want someone trying to prove that right. I'd, I'd rather you just take my word for that one. I, I, it's not often that in any sales-related field, I would tell you just to listen to the words, trust me. But trust me when I say you don't want to you don't want to try to prove me wrong there. Big space for a wastebasket below the sink. Dual XL plywood drawers are also another very different find on the Cherokee campers versus a, a more common set of like two or three smaller drawers. I think they're a little more like big spatula friendly. Both sides of the bed still have household and USB plugs, but over here they look a little different because what they're doing here, this is a little um, mount for a Furion Bluetooth speaker that is not included with the camper. That is something you can probably pick up off Amazon. 
But at worst, even if you don't use it for that, it's still got a set of USB plugs. So you're you're no worse off, but you're potentially better off if you choose to add that. And I like how they make that accent wall persist all the way up through the closets there. Now, uh, over here also, next to that mirror to give you lots of light in the bedroom, you can see you've got a huge viewing window so that if you hear Mr. Raccoon, you know, on your picnic table at night knocking over your trash can, you know that it's Mr. Raccoon and not Mr. Bear. Now, while we've seen some really nice updates inside from the decor touches to that big fridge, very little outside has changed. Frankly, that is good news in this case because they had their exteriors absolutely dialed in previously and did not fix what was not broken. Thank you, Cherokee, for keeping your finger on that one. Everything that you already knew out here still exists. We still have those seal gripping slide walls, extra thick uh, nose skin, and that integrated A-frame, that custom engineered chassis, which actually allows this thing to have a normal interior height with a reduced exterior height. That's also one of the reasons this has two entry steps instead of three. It just literally rides lower to the ground. Kind of a little less overhead clearance, a little less headwind, a little less topsy-turviness since it has a lower center of gravity. Now you can see one of the things we like to do on all the Cherokee products uh, for which we're able is enclose that underbelly to give you that extra protection. And you can see right above your sewer hookups, you've got all your hookups all centralized in one spot with a very solid separately switched courtesy light. So you can actually see what you're doing, whether you're yeah, hooking up your black flush or using your outside shower or anything at night, you know? Now below the bunks here, you have extra outside storage they just really didn't waste anything and i think on this floor plan that is really perfectly positioned because that's a great spot to keep your like totes for your your hookup stuff whereas you keep your family daily use stuff over in the main uh like underbed storage area the uh cargo rack on the back there has a 200 pound capacity and you see the spare tire it's actually an optional piece of equipment we had every single one of these uh here at halid rv i hope I hope you never need that spare tire. But in the event you do, kind of like cough medicine, you know, you're really upset if you don't have it and you need it, but you never regret having it if you do. Now between that power awning with those easy tilt arms and the very tall outside kitchen door, this thing actually has some really excellent patio coverage. Now what's cool here is the full-size camp kitchen, you know, the door sort of acts like shelter, so it keeps you out of the sun while you're either doing some cooking or fixing up a drink or uh, getting inside this giant fridge freezer. So we saw a 10.7 cubic foot fridge freezer inside. Add that to the 5.7 cubic foot fridge outside and you're over 16 cubic foot of total cold storage. Plus, we also have a dedicated ice maker out here and a real sink with a real drain into a holding tank. That is one of the coolest things about a Cherokee with a camp kitchen. It has, hands down, no questions, no bones about it, more cold storage capacity than literally anything else in this class and category. Frankly, that's more than until you start getting into like Montana North Point Pinnacle level luxury fifth wheels. Nobody else has that level of cold storage. It's awesome. Now the uh, awning over here, like I mentioned, it is easy tilt. And what I mean by that is it just takes two fingers because, well, it's easy to tilt. Just boop, that's all there is right there. Now, what's kind of cool here is you can see it'll just hold itself. But if you leave it cranked like this for some rainy day runoff or just kind of tilt the shade a little bit, if it's just, you know, the sunlight's just catching the eye, you can crank it a little sometimes. It'll sort itself out when you close it. You know, if you leave it cranked like this, you hit the close button, it'll just fix itself right away. And then, if you don't want to wait for that, if you are done with it, you can just manually put it right back up that simple. If you uh, add a TV inside, that same bracket on the back of the TV that you installed can mount right out here so you could have, you know, inside-outside entertainment, or I suppose you could have multiple TVs. And those plugs right there connect to whatever's going on inside. So you can have some mirrored entertainment. Really cool on like game day or race day so you don't miss anything. Anti-slam entry door, doing the good job for us of uh, making sure the wind doesn't catch this thing and the kids don't fling it. Extra large handle and the uh, LCI stable, pardon me, nope, more ride stable steps, the other stable step company, um, make it so that the trailer doesn't rock and roll around when people come and go. Very nice so that, you know, you're not uh, getting seasick here. Now, since this is an anti-slam door, the door can open, like, further, so that sharp little corner down there, 
it's not gonna stab the kiddos in the shoulder or the cheek or something when they go running by not paying attention or maybe that was just my life when I was growing up me and my brother we were klutzy idiots side mount solar prep plug so that if you choose to bring a sort of a uh, sortable huh, solar portable there we go panel you got a plenty of space here in this big under bed cavity with that side access door right there to be able to get to everything and that's the thing everything is you know big smart easily accessible and uh highly functional and that's what's really cool about these guys um the stuff that you're getting in any cherokee rv like the massive refrigerators the uh sealed edge counters those stable steps those are things that don't expire and that means that this is a brand of camper that holds both its usage value and its monetary value very well because it's not an intangible quality like extended warranties are nice but they expire and you lose the value on it the things that are on this camper that make it shine they don't expire so if you are looking for something to take care of your family for more than just a couple years and after you know eight nine ten twelve years you want to swap it out for that oh say like that montana fifth wheel right there behind it here at halid rv this is that brand that'll get you through that extended family period and it's still gonna be worth quite a bit when you're done with it that's a cool thing so as always remember that we don't do hidden dealer fees but we do everything else so whether it's hitching pieces parts trades finance truck and trailer package deals rv delivery and everything in between we do it all at Halo RV, so take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.